If you've lost a bit of power or got smoke coming from your turbo diesel, you might want to check for splits or holes in your turbo hoses. So this one comes from the intercooler. Uh, this one comes from the turbo and goes to the intercooler. And what I'm going to show is how to pressure test both the hoses and the intercooler itself. And hopefully you'll hear a hissing sound or you'll see the pressure drop off where you've got a leak. So you can see here, I've blocked off two of the hoses and this is the hose that takes the pressurized air and feeds it into the inlet manifold near the EGR. And this one is the hose that goes to the input of the intercooler. So, um, so look around your house, see what objects you've got. There's about the right diameter to fit in this hose. Clamp over it, in this case, it's a diamond bike shampoo bottle. And the other one is blocked by can of oil. Uh, so they're both airtight seals, do up the Jubilee clip. And uh, then I've rotated this piece of pipe, disconnected the uh, air temperature sensor for the intake, and made up a little bit of plastic. These bits of plastic are actually the nozzle ends of like silicon seal guns. A uh, couple joined together, another bit of plastic, bit of tape, screwed it into that. Bit of pipe onto my tire pressure gauge. So you could use a hand pump, I suppose, but uh, this is a bit more convenient. I limited the pressure to 15 PSI, which is the maximum boost pressure that you should get in the system. And then listen for leaks. So there was just a little leak around the tube where I'd attached, fix that, and pump it up to 15 PSI. Can't hear any hissing. And check if the pressure holes only having to look around as well. There's a common place these rubber hoses on the left can fail, and that's uh, underneath, uh, next to where the screw that holds the manifold on. That screw can wear against the rubber hose and make a hole, so worth checking that. So if it's holding that pressure for this long, I don't think there's any problems with any of the hoses. That's how to test your intercooler and hoses for splits and leaks.